We like to do it the hard way, don't we? It's got a... Coming out, we're coming out, we're coming out. Oh, it's big. Come on. choosing to watch the video I'm excited to say that we are back on the rivers now um, before we go into this episode I just want to kind of apologize that there hasn't been much tench fishing during the spring on the channel um, I have been doing some tench fishing and if you want to see me doing that um, I have released a couple of videos of me tench fishing uh, on other channels and I'll put links uh, to that if you want to see me tench fishing I'll put links to that in the description and in fact there's a third tench video that i've uh, i've shot a very exciting project uh which will be out on the quorum channel very very soon so make sure you keep an eye out for that one but in this one we are back on the rivers we start in hampshire and dorset we start on the avon then move across to the dorset star have an amazing time so let's have a look at that now There we are, first one of the new river season. And there we go, there's another one. Off to a great start, getting one of these a chuck, trotting maggots with the glide. Lovely. So that was the first swim. Um, sorry it's a bit rough, today there might be a bit more camera work with the iPhone than there is a big camera because June the 16th and I just want to be fishing. Don't want to be messing around with cameras. Um, obviously we'll get the cam nice cameras out if we get decent fish but uh, so far first swim, uh, trotting maggots and I've had roach, I've had chub, I've had salmon par, I've had gudgeon, I've had minnows, I've had a bit of everything uh, but nothing of any size time for a move. Bloody hell. It's <laughs> getting on down. Uh, uh. We like to do it the hard way, don't we? I've got one, got a nice roach. Apparently this stretch does some nice roach. That's a beautiful one. Very nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two pounder would be amazing. <laughs> so that was my opening day. Um, as you can probably tell, uh, it was more about adventure, it was more about exploring and being outdoors and being in, in beautiful, beautiful countryside across Hampshire and Dorset. Probably more about that than, you know, catching specimen fish. Um, and, and what a fantastic, enjoyable opening day I had. A week later, and now you're going to join me on some local rivers on the hunt for, you know, um, a bigger stamp of fish, looking for some specimens on, on rivers that I'm a bit more familiar with. And that's where you join me now. So we are on the river, as you can probably tell, it's very, very warm, very, very sunny day. Um, and uh, that's been a pattern, to be honest, for the first couple of weeks of the season. There's not been an awful lot of rain, it means the rivers are running very slow, uh, very low, uh, uh, very clear. So not the easiest of conditions to be fishing in, to be honest. Um, and uh, yeah, it has been a little bit tricky, but I am confident that we'll find some fish today. Uh, I've got my Polaroids around my neck. I would say certainly 
Uh, I mean, I always wear the Polaroids through, through the summer and through the winter, to be fair. Um, but definitely, you know, with it as clear as it is, it does facilitate sight fishing. So we're gonna wander around, see if we can find some fish. Because I'm roaming, I'm gonna use my 10 foot rod, my 10 foot opportunist, 4,000 size reel. That's got the 12 pound barbel reel line on it. Um, it comes down to 10 pound smoke screen. And on the business end, I've got a size eight grappler hook. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna free line meat um, in this the slow water and I'm, I'm probably not even gonna have to pinch any shot on or anything because it is so slow uh, because I'm sight fishing I do like the idea of just being able to present a free line bait uh, in front of any chub or barbel that I might find so I love this style of fishing I've got the absolute minimum amount of gear little 10 foot rod tiny little day pack rucksack um, with an unhooking mat on it, just a net, and we're just gonna roam around. I've got a pouch around my waist. That's got a bit of lunch and meat in it. It's got some pellets, it's got some bread, and yeah, we'll roam around. Fingers crossed, we'll find some fish. So I'm moving around from swim to swim. Not long in each one. Check him out. Only like 20, 20 minutes or so in each swim maximum. I've got a few more to hit, uh, but I'm really, really pleased with him. half decent ones down there but they're keeping their heads sort of yeah. poked in there that's the smaller of the two I was doing a lump too many in at once that seems to be where they're hanging right at the back in it let's give that another chuck see if we can get a bit more in that corner no, that's not it. He's got it. Ah, he's done me. I mean, it's 12 pound line, but I mean, it's so confined, isn't it? <laughs> Went for it straight away though, didn't it? Still one down there. It's fucking yeah. big. That one's big. That's a double figure fish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so gutted. I don't know if you could make out what was going on there. I'm back at the car now. It's near a main road. Sorry if there's any noise, uh, but found some barbel, big barbel as well, double figure barbel I'm sure, because it was only shallow water, I could see them really clearly with my Polaroids and they were big. Uh, river was only a couple of yards wide or so, that's the only thing, it was quite snaggy, um, but still I managed to draw them out away from the snag slightly with some pellets, put the meat in, one grabbed it straight away, one of the bigger ones, uh, rod looped over, it headed into the reeds, and unfortunately, the 12 pound line parted. Um, I think I could have had that, you know, if I'd have had 15 pound line and maybe some braid as a hook length, uh, it's possible that I might be able to come back and have another crack at those fish. But looking on the positive side, uh, it's not an area where I've caught fish before. I might have found a holding area. If I come back with the right tackle, there could be a really decent barbel on the cards. So <laughs> I'm back at the house having to have a bit of a rethink because obviously what I was using there wasn't quite man enough. As you know, I was free lining. So I was free lining me. I had 12 pound main line, but I had a 10 pound leader. And on reflection in that scenario, just wasn't strong enough. Um, 
Now, I could go 12 pound line right the way through or use a 12 pound leader, so just step it up a bit. But to be honest, I think I'm gonna fish on the deck because that's gonna allow me to use a rig like this. It's a, a rig that's about nine, nine or 10 inches long. Uh, it's made of strong coated braid, 20 pound coated braid. It's a figure of eight loop knot at the top, just to allow me to attach it. I will probably fish this just on a running rig, probably not a bolt and run. I don't want them bolting into that canopy, so it'll just be a, a running rig. So uh, yeah, nine inches, nine or 10 inches long, coated braid. Uh, if I come down, I've got one of the Avid sinkers on there. Just above the hook, I've stripped away a bit of the coating. I've got a kicker and I've got a size eight grappler hook. So a really strong hook. Um, I could move that up to a six, but I don't want to. I'd normally use a six if I'm using meat or something like that. Here I'm using the pellet O's. I just think they're a little bit more discreet. I have found that barbel when they're being a bit cagey, matching the hatch, if I'm feeding some pellets, could normally trick them uh, quite nicely. So that's, that's what I'm going in with. When I'm using these drill pellets, I actually like to mount them on a bait screw. It's a little thing that um, I do where I've got a bait screw that's attached. I find the best way to attach those is using some kind of D-rig. This is a slip D, uh, sounds very carpy, doesn't it? But if you uh, look, look for that on YouTube or whatever, I'm not gonna show you how to tie it, but put the bait screw on a D-rig. And then these eight millimeter drill pellets, I know fit onto this this particular screw perfectly, two of them, just literally. So it takes a little bit longer to tie up in the first instance, but then chopping and changing your pellets is really, really quick. And I do quite like to chop and change the pellets. Sometimes I wanna match the hatch. I'm feeding the, you know, I've got these, these darker brown ones on the bait screw. Uh, these are halibuts. I might wanna change those for the krill ones that um, are much brighter and therefore you've got a hook bait that actually does stand out. So um, also with this bait screw, I was able to put meat on it as well, but only really because of this specific scenario. Remember, I'm just lowering this in. I don't think I'd be confident to use a bait screw like this with me if I was actually casting it. That's the rig. That's what I've come up with, a lot stronger. Let's hope that those changes that I've made there are enough to help me land that barbel. Just gonna draw them out with these pellets. You can see their tails just poking out the edge of the bush. Mm. Carp just passed across the back. Don't really want you. One just literally floated out. Come on. It's over the back now. Getting liners from that one. Oh, really bad line bite. Must have felt that. Might need to back lead it, but don't want too much on the line. Colouring the water up. It's a big one down there. His tail's right over my bait. Just trying to draw them out with these pellets. Tail is right over it. Go on. No, 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 no. This is wrong, you need to tough here. Yeah. Come on, get it in there. Come on. Oof. Jesus Christ. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Wow, fishing for those barbel and a carp comes from nowhere. <sighs> so, I finally got those barbel out from underneath that canopy <laughs> and feeding. But this fella came from nowhere. <laughs> Check him out. Um, 
Yeah, I'm glad I stepped up the gear because I would have struggled with this fella in the flow on, with the gear that I had on yesterday. Um, and yeah, was after the barbell. Not disappointed though with this stunning river cup. Well, that's it. I've got to go work now. Um, still didn't get my barbell. <laughs> it's uh, not the end of the world. Uh, really pleased with that carp. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to come back for the barbell another day. So it's early morning. <laughs> uh, we're back again. Uh, yeah, third time lucky. Uh, going straight to the same spot. And yeah, hoping to get that barbell. I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out, I'm coming out. Coming out. Uh, being in the water for not very long, and it's a nice one. Sorry about the camera work on this. Come on, that's a good one as well. Fighting uh, like crazy. He's in, he's in. Shit, you know. You know I love the river carp, but that's really what we were after. Stunning barbel in fairly shallow, clear water. Uh, today it's only taken a few minutes and it came in and took the bait. I saw it take it. <laughs> well pleased with that. The season is off and rocking. And unbelievably, it didn't end there. Just spooked off it just spooked off it, looked at it, had his nose on it. Where are you? Where are you? I can't believe it, I've got another one. That is where I've got to regain my composure. Looks like a big one. Actually coming in. Whoa! Just about to say, it's coming in much nicer. He's a bigger fish. Let's try again. Again, sorry about camera work here. But the main thing is to get this fish in this net. Now, just turn his head at the last minute. He's a big fish. Come on, this time. This time. Yes, he's in. Yes, he's in. And he is big. Oh, it's big. Come on. Incredibly, I put that fish back, lowered the rig in again, and I've got one of the chunks. Look, that's the one I saw yesterday. Pushed off the spot by the carp. Come back today. 10 pound and ounces. What a way to start the river season. A nice, chunky, double figure barbel. So that was the start of my river season. Absolutely loved it. Catching lots of fish, you know, plenty of chub and barbel and other bits and pieces. 
uh, lots and lots of different types of river fish, which is what it's all about for me. Exploring loads of new stretches, uh, lots of adventure, and yeah, I look forward to bringing you more of that very, very soon. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be fishing for next. Um, uh, I've sort of got some sort of silverfish, like big silverfish video in my head, you know, either roach or rud. Um, I've started a little bit of rud fishing, might be sharing that with you quite soon. Um, otherwise, probably going to be uh, more barbel, more chub, who knows. But whatever I'm fishing for, I look forward to sharing it with you. Until then, look after yourselves and be lucky.